what's up everybody I do have COVID I am currently on day two and we are living in a very small RV and I am trying not to get Courtney sick good morning and I hope you can hear me Whew. just now leaving San Diego had an amazing time I don't know I don't know it feels like sea big rv adventures wants to buy electric bikes park steve the rv in san diego san diego is so nice was able to hang with one of my longest and closest friends uh check in on the family i mean he has a, a beautiful family and they're doing well and it's always good to stop by just see your friends thrive you know shout out to his daughter while we were there got into two of their three top schools uh, for college um, and just waiting for the third impressive super impressive so now we are up super early earlier than we usually get up because JJ has to go to LAX we are racing up to five to get JJ to LAX before her mor morning flight. Uh, she is going back to her HQ for a big meeting, and then we're gonna meet back up. Uh, I'm going to be at a Harvest Host north of Los Angeles. Not too far north, but north of Los Angeles. And I got a lot of friends out here. I'm gonna try to do some comedy out here. I don't know how long we're gonna be here, maybe two or three days. It should be an adventure. I am not RV'd in LA. LA is a hard place to drive around. Like New York's hard to drive around, but LA is a hard place to drive around because those streets and those hills are tough. New York doesn't have the same kind of hills. And you don't think of LA naturally as hilly, but we rented uh, a truck one time and it was just really hard to maneuver in that truck. Hi. Hi. Where are you coming from? Nice. You didn't bring anything back for me, man. Keep left to Century Boulevard. In point four miles, make a U-turn if possible. I just dropped JJ off and I have time to kill. No plans for today other than getting like a few small things that need to be done done, but like nothing major, nothing pressing. I got to the Harvest House. We're gonna stay at a Harvest House for the short amount of time that we're in LA. It's noon. Why go park somewhere at noon and then be kind of stuck there? And it's not like stuck where there's nothing around. I could just take the bike off, but like, why not go out and see something? And this is why we, we are in the RV. And just take the RV. Sometimes I complain about not having a tow vehicle. And I think that in most cases, we can do without it. I did just turn down a street, which I could not record because I was in focus mode. The directions took me to a private beach. And that private beach was a small offshoot off the highway and very narrow and there were construction uh, trucks down there for people who were getting their house renovated. And I could barely do a three point turn. Like there was a big rig who had to back up a little bit so I could do like a four point turn and get out. Those are the times when I wish we had a tow vehicle. But for the most part, I'm parked in a large parking lot across from the beach and it's a pay for parking. I'm gonna pay for maybe like 30, 40 minutes an hour, go wash some surfers and then Get back on the road, see what else we can see.
trying to distance and also wipe surfaces down and we've had masks on don't want to share it i feel pretty good so uh, she's gonna stay in this hotel our quarantine strategy in the rv has been that courtney has this back area with the beds and i slept last night on the pull-out couch which is like a jackknife sofa style but it truly is smaller than a love seat it's really not meant for more than a child to sleep on so um i huddled up there with my blankets had the windows open had the exhaust fan going even though it's pretty cold outside and then i had some i set up like a bench at the end of the couch with some pillows stacked up onto it so that I could kind of like extend the bed and lay out flat but I don't want Courtney to get sick so I'm about to check myself into a hotel for the night so that I can take my mask off uh, maybe have a nice bath I know that's a little gross in a hotel don't judge me I'm sick I think we've been doing a pretty good job with like the exhaust fans going and like staying socially distanced so fingers crossed Courtney just picked me up from the hotel that I got that Paxlovid pumping through my veins. So I'm feeling a lot better, but obviously got my mask on. We are headed up to a uh, campground in uh, Coochie, Coochie. Coochie 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 Lake, uh, up past Santa Barbara. And so hopefully I'll be able to be outside a lot. Except for? Except that it's going to rain all weekend. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. A big day for this cat. Doors open. He's thinking about coming outside. Will he do it? Will he do it, folks? These have been the most birds that we've seen. He's got his eye on a bird. Will he try to get it? <laughs> what we've got right here are some white crowned sparrows and a really dumb orange cat. That's his typical stance. He's <laughs> you gonna try to get him, buddy, or what? Please know that he's not actually skilled enough to catch a bird. I got faith in my boy. <laughs> he could if he wanted to, he just don't want to. There's five species of birds around the RV right now, buddy. What are you gonna do? He just think he's like, hmm, maybe I'll just sit under the RV. That seems exciting. What you see, buddy? Okay, here we go. What he's gonna do is just get go out. Under, get out and go under there? And sit under the RV. Oh, the bird's caught and he's scared. He wants to go back in the house because he heard a bird make a sound. <laughs> Waffles, do not go under the RV, please. Yeah, I said no. So we managed to get to the Southern California area right in time for two of the most major storms that they've had in a long time. Right now we're looking at three days straight of rain and thunderstorm, high winds. There are a lot of trees down. There are a lot of, uh, w there's a lot of water on the ground. <laughs> Power's out here at the campsite, which it just went out. We had power this morning and at some point power went out. So I just went to the bathrooms just to double check because unlike living in a neighborhood, you can look out of your windows and see if everyone else has power except for you. Um, I checked and there is no power anywhere in the whole campsite. So on top of that, uh, you hear those coughs. JJ is still recovering. We're distancing in the RV, which isn't a lot of distance. There's not a lot of space in here. So we're doing things to stay safe so far. I've been good, Waffles is good. Um, JJ's feeling okay, uh, but just battling the, the sick. Chivaquiles, avocado, tortilla, Brown chorizo, sour cream. When you are under a flash flood warning and also quarantining and also the power is out. 
All right, so this is the uh, quarantining bed situation I've got going on up here in the front. Don't mind the mess. Still got the couch folded down. Um, it really is no bigger than a small love seat. So over here, I set up like a bench with the um, cushion covers that actually fit up into the Max Air fans um, to extend it a little bit so that I could lay out flat. Um, we got the bathroom door open. Um, to keep some separation. It's open like just a crack so that waffles can get through um, from the front to the back because his food is up here but um, this is where I'm sleeping and Courtney's in the back. Got the window cracked a bit and got the Max Air, Max Air fans um, exhausting out so hopefully sucking up any germs that I got. I got my mask on as you can see and this is what we are doing. Greetings and salutations. I feel like it's been a while. Last night and the day before probably were two of kind of the more intense days that we've had in the RV. We were at a campsite in Southern California during one of the most torrential downpours and one of the biggest storms Southern California has ever seen. On top of that, flash floods, high winds, downed trees, washed out roads, mudslides. We just watched someone's truck sink directly into the mud she is on her last days of quarantine, still wearing a mask. Some might call it the perfect atmospheric storm. Ah! <laughs> She's real high this morning. Her energy has been manic almost, but we're taking off. We delayed going to this campsite because it is directly on the beach and we hope it's still there. Apparently, JJ talked to him today, so uh, we have to be there by 3 p.m. just to secure our spot since we missed yesterday. Uh, it should be beautiful. The place we are at is beautiful. I wish we could have shown you more, but due to the clouds and the rain, it was a bit hard. I'm on day seven, gonna get a test today. Maybe I'll even test negative today. So fingers crossed so that we can stop trying to socially distance inside an RV. Fingers crossed. way to Halama Beach campsite and on the way we just crossed through a Dutch town did not I don't even know how but for some reason this whole town's Dutch the bank is called the Viking Inn all of the houses and stores look like something from out of Denmark look at this So they have, they have some, I mean, it's a mix, it's a mix of modern houses, but like this looks like an apartment complex or a hotel. One thing I know about the Dutch is they love a bakery. They love a baked good. Uh, our strudels are German, but Danishes are Dutch. Am I right? Wait a minute. Or is a strudel also? Is a is a Dane from Denmark? Is Danish from Denmark? It must be, right? It has to be. It's just like, what are all Even these bakeries they, selling? Okay, okay. Here's why I get confused. Denmark Danes are from Denmark, but they speak Dutch. But Deutschland is Germany. Yes. Okay. It's like, how do we even? How do we even? Look at this little town. Also on the list. Mortensons look way more empty than Olsen's does. That one bakery was also on the list. That one's closed. Olsen's is right here. Matter of fact, 
I can park right here and go to Olsen's. Solvang. Sol Solvang. Solvang. I'm gonna look up what, what that is. And like, I wanna also look up why this town is just dripped in Dutch. Solvang is the name of this town. Solvang is the name of the town? Yeah. I thought Solvang was like, it was like named after a city in, in. I mean, it might've been, but this, this is also called Solvang. Okay, so we're in Solvang. We're in Solvang and we're going to hop out and go to Olsen's Bakery. We're gonna find out. I don't know what we're gonna get. Come on. Yeah. You think those top two broke off in the storm? No, I think they were probably broken off before. I talk a lot of trash about my parking skills, but woof, your boy did a real bad job today. I usually nail it. Today, did not. I think they did break off the new What makes you think that? Because there's a new space sitting in front of it, and that guy is on the phone and he keeps looking up at it. Oh, okay. JJ, the detective. Thank you. We don't have it anywhere. So I asked for this and I called it a petite four. And I don't know why I've never said the word pedophore. I asked for this and I didn't know it was called a pedophore. It's actually called, a, I think it's called a pedophore. I didn't know this was called a pedophore. So I said, let me get that petite four. And she was like, a pedophore. And I was like, yup. And I looked at JJ like, oh man, I got set up. Did you know how to pronounce that the whole time? And she was like, yeah, you're the only one in here saying petite four. Uh, Olsen's Bakery, pedophore and a? Almond bear claw. Here we go, let's try them. Mmm. It's really good. Really Icing. good. Some jam on the top. It's basically like a, a marzipan danish. This is really good. Yeah, I like it. Uh-huh. Good stuff. Wish we could switch bites. I left you half in, in the box. I leave you half? What's on the inside? Marzipan? Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. A thin layer of jam? Just leave me one bite. Okay. A JJ size bite. Mm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. The next thing is classic Danish. Fruity. That's it. Okay. Uh, that's fine. You know the tough part about this is biting into something that is this layered and laminated where someone had to work within a certain temperature to stack butter and pastry and then bake it and then ice it and then put jam in here for me to bite into that all that hard work and just go it's fine <laughs> it's it's weird that sometimes like danishes croissant croissants don't taste as good as as the other and i know it's all part of the process but that's a hard 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 thing to make for us to just easily just bite into and go mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this bear claw slaps i'll leave that for you to bite i'm gonna bite this bear claw you want to bite my other thing first 
for editing. I got one more thing. Hmm. What do you think about the bear claw? The bear claw is better than the Danish. And what is this? Sarah something? I forget, but... Sa Sa Sarah Seven Sisters. It looks like... It looks like a Madeline covered hmm. in chocolate and it's got marzipan on the inside. Do you like it? All right, pretty good. I'm gonna bite. Mm -mm. Okay. Sea salt on top? Ooh, with the sea salt? Mmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Takes a minute, but it's good. Really dense madeleine with the almond flour, a little bit of marzipan, and a chocolate ganache. Covered in sea salt. Let's rank them. I'm gonna go bear claw number one. Okay. Whatever this thing is, number two. Okay. I didn't try yours, so I don't know. Okay. The pedophore, the pedophore was okay. Okay. It wasn't really my thing. This is very sweet. This is like more desserty yeah. and breakfasty. Yeah. I'm gonna go pedophore number one. I did, I really enjoyed that. I'm gonna go your bear claws two. I'm gonna go that thing is three. And then, unfortunately, that Danish goes last. It just felt boring compared to everything else. It wasn't bad. It just felt... Mm. It looks a little dry, to be honest. It was. Mm. So, um, I left some for you to bite. Okay, now, onward. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you do subscribe, if you don't subscribe, still thank you. Check in if you can. Please leave a comment. We, we really, really appreciate every set of eyes that we have on these videos. And like we say, at, at the, the end, end of the day, day